Super Fun Stuff. Welcome to Super Fun Stuff. In today's video, we get to talk about a new 3D print I created for my wife. Growing up, my wife loved the movie, The Brave Little Toaster. The Brave Little Toaster came out in 1987 and was based on a novel written by Thomas M. Dish. The premise of the movie is the appliances, including Toaster, Lampy, Blanky, and Kirby the Vacuum, are in this house waiting for their master to return. However, the owner isn't going to return and the house is going to be sold. So these appliances are abandoned. However, Toaster can accept the fact that he was abandoned and decides that him and his buddies should search for their owner. So they go out on this huge adventure to try to find their owner. It's a fun movie for kids. Since my wife liked the movie so much, I decided to make her toaster just for fun. Looking online, I could not find any good toaster models. Most of them were either weird looking or just boring. The closest one I found was on Thingiverse, but it was meh. So I decided to create my own. Using Tinkercad, I create a basic model for toaster. This model is in multiple pieces and takes toaster's most iconic faces from the movie. I made the front and back plates replaceable so you can choose what face to use. I have his happy cheerful face from the box art, his angry yelling face when he tries to rile his group, and a blank face so you can draw any mouth that you want. I pick a large happy smile like the one from the movie. I also include toast and a movable arm internal toaster plate thing. The idea is to attach springs to make it go up and down easily. This was really a super basic design. I only had to give it little thought on how to make the spring arms. Tinkercad made this model really easy to make. So the first step was printing it. My printer is on its last legs, I basically resurrected it for this project. And it printed pretty mediocre. Lots of print lines and not great quality. But this is a basic model and it was good enough. After printing I went ahead and sanded it the best I could. I know I didn't get all the parts smooth, but sanding really made it a lot better. Then I applied some gesso to fill in some of the deeper recesses, and another light sanding on top to help out a bit. So on to the painting. Well, toaster is really basic only a handful of colors, but let's see if we can spice it up using some common techniques. First, obviously, I paint his main color, the silver. I take a pretty shiny silver and paint all the silver areas. I try to stay away from non-silver areas, especially the eyes, because silver can be a harder color to cover up if you make a mistake. I use a larger brush to hit all the areas fairly quickly. Next, I paint the black on the eyebrows, the base, and the arms. Also, the toast a brown color, nothing really special here. Then I paint the inside of his mouth a dark red and a good coat of white for the eyes, teeth, and tongue. Next I go for the eyes, which are a nice solid brown color. Just make sure you don't go too dark. And now the tongue, which I use a pink. Next the pupil of the eyes. To make it easy, I load up my brush and make a little pool. It may be a tad thick, but it's eyes and it's easy to do for the scale. Freehanding circles can be really hard to paint perfectly. Now I take a dark brown wash and use it on the toes and around the eyes. This gives a little bit of more color transition so it's not a boring flat color. Now I do a red wash for the tongue. One thing I didn't want the wash to do was to go in the print grooves, so I take a cotton swab and take off any wash on the top surface. Now I take a black wash and outline certain areas. I outline the teeth, the mouth, the eyes, and the eyebrows. So now we can do some details. I take a lighter brown and paint a top corner of each eye. I chose a side where I want the light to hit the eye and make that reflection look. Next I load up my brush with white and make dots next to the brown that I just painted. This causes a nice reflection on the eye. This is just a simple effect that really looks good. Next I take some more white and do some more accents, primarily around the mouth, dimples and such. So here are the three faces that I painted. It was quick to paint each and I made them fun. Little accents around the eyes and additional washes really make characters like this come to life. Now I prep all pieces for a clear coat. It's always nice to protect your hard work. And all the pieces look great after a varnish. Now the last part, the springs and arms. I take a hot glue gun and glue some really lightweight springs inside. I go around the bottom of the spring with the glue gun to make sure that they stay in place. You can carefully stick the arms in sideways and turn them into place. I also glued the springs to the arms for added stability. Now you have your pieces and you can put them all together. Mine were a bit tight fit after painting, but it still worked. The toast lays inside the toaster and the arms spring the toast up like a real toaster. I also like to flick each arm to make them wave. And that's it. Pretty simple design, simple print, and simple painting. If you like the Brave Little Toaster as much as my wife and I do, you can make your own for free. Head to my store for the 3D files and get printing. Thank you all to my patrons and supporters, and thank you for watching this video.